sorry, and welcome to this edition of KTM Scotland. I just, I'm, I'm just thinking about what we will be uh, giving our viewers in matters to do with the primetime news. But before that, it is time for KTM Scotland. A lot is happening in the country. Talk about uh, the sporting action. Yes, we're going to be crossing over to Robinson Kenya in uh, some few minutes from now. They'll be telling us much more about the Chapa Dim. But remember, at the same time, we have the English Premier League. It is always spicy. But all this comes in a week that at the same time, we also had the Soya Awards, different winners were crowned and talk about uh, them. They are saying that we want to better the standards of uh, sports here in the country. The same week, but also the Deputy President talked about sponsorship and he also talked about the tax and said all the companies need to pay a tax and that maybe that one tells you they will not be going hard or any easier in matters to do with the sponsorship uh, uh, issues that we've been having in matters to do with a sports person. Now, welcome to this edition of Katian Scotland. My name is Moses Wahisi. And first of all, we talk about matters to do with what is happening in the coastal city. It's all about a Chapa Dimba coastal edition, all action in Mombasa. Robinson Kenya will now join us live from Mombasa. Okay, I know a lot has been happening, but we talk about the ladies. We will be having the war girls in the finals. At the same time, we also have uh, uh, Sol, I, I know that name is actually uh, troubling me, Sol Wogidi, making to the uh, ladies the final. What kind of final are we expecting from the ladies? And actually, how is the men's affair, uh, the boys' affair going on uh, this time out? Well, a very good afternoon to you, Moses. Uh, here at the coastal region uh, of uh, Safaricom's Chapa Dimba. Remember, 166 games have been played. Uh, uh, rather, 166 teams took part in the coastal region uh, tournament with one, more than 198 games taking part. And as you've said, we have two teams that we've already known who will be in the final. That is between Sologidi and Wa Girls. The two teams will be taking part in the finals tomorrow to see who wins the 200,000 200, Kenya shillings that are up for grabs for the winners and also a slot in the finals uh, that will be played in Nairobi. That is the national finals. Remember, the winner gets to go to London for one week uh, to for a football clinic and also for a chance to watch Manchester City take on Tottenham Hotspurs at the Wembley Stadium. So a lot is at stake for the teams that are taking part in this tournament. Probably, if I may take you back from the first uh, tournament or, or of, uh, for the first edition of the tournament that was in uh, uh, Narok where we had uh, uh, Kapenguria win the Rift Edition and Tata. Then we, want, we went to Nyanza where we had Ombek Red Devils win in the men's and then we had uh, Plateau Queens win in the women's uh, uh, tie. Then we went to northeast uh, region last two weeks ago, rather, where we had Halayat win. We were in uh, eastern region where we had uh, Mwingi win, and then we had Ngaka win in the, in the girls' edition. Right now here, the match that is going on behind me is between Ikra FC and Brizam. Remember, the match right now is 7-1. Brizam leading with a 7-1. They are guaranteed that they will be in the finals tomorrow, and they will be waiting to see in the next match who wins in the next match will be joining them in the final. So probably we get to speak to the teams that have qualified and this is the ladies teams that have qualified for the finals tomorrow and we begin with uh, Solo Gidi. I know you I, you found that uh, name hard to speak but uh, don't worry. Uh, I'll have to write it down for you next time. So we begin with Solo Gidi, the team that has just uh, won and this will be in the finals and let's speak first to the captain uh, Waitonani. Matole Miki Kondre. Ah, naomba, naomba pengine uzungu kwa hivi ndio tukuone. Kwa majina unaitwa nani? Matole Miki Kondre. Game ya leo ilikuwaaje? Matole game ya leo ilikuwaaje? Game ya leo bedhe ilikuwa ngumu. Yaani hatukua na matarajio ya kuwin. Lakini sasa kwa juhudi zetu tumejikaza tumewin. Kwa nini pengine hamkuwa na matarajio ya kuwashinda wenzenu? Eh, hey, ni sema venye yaani wale ni watu sema wakubwa na sisi ni wadogo na istoshe wale tuseme ni outsiders na sisi bado ni students aha sasa mko kwenye finali kesho mnachuana na wao wao mechi yao ya kwanza walishinda mabao manne kwa moja mechi itakuwa vipi tutacheza venye itakuwa ni hivyo juu kila kitu cha pangwa na mungu Sawa sawa sante sana na shukuru tuzungumze uh, we speak to the coach of uh, solo giri coach uh, your names Mamure Janet. Uh, your team uh, got to get to the final. They had a 2-1 win in the semi-final. What should we expect from your team tomorrow? Tomorrow we, we expect to win. 2-1 uh, win and you are facing a team that won 4-1 in the semi-finals. You know, how are you approaching the game probably? 
he, I say we win tomorrow because the, the game, I saw the game and I know that we will win. Uh -huh. yes. Thanks a lot, coach. That is the coach for Soluogidi. Remember, they got a 2-1 win in their semi-finals, uh, the second semi-final of the day here at uh, Shanzu Teachers College. And now we speak to the team that qualified first in the uh, first semi-final, and that is uh, War Girls. Remember, they got a 4-1 win uh, in the first match against uh, St. John's Kaloleni. And here, joining me now, is the coach of uh, War Girls. Coach, pengino uh, tuambia majina yako. Okay, my name is George Ojoaya. I am a teacher and a coach in Arua Girls. Uh, I'm the one preparing these uh, students. Uh, right now I call them players. We've worked hard so far. For us to reach here, it took a lot of sweat. We sweat in the field. We fight in the field. Uh, not physically though. Yeah, but here we are. It has been a long journey. But now we're playing finals tomorrow. We have beaten St. John's. St. John's were worthy opponents. It was not a weak team. Everybody who has played football knows that. Yes. It's a team to reckon with. But I thank God so far, for the first time, I think since 2006, we have managed to beat them. Mm -hmm. It has been a long time. Be beating them for the first time in 10 years. Now you guys are in the finals tomorrow. I was speaking to your girls uh, earlier on, and they say they don't only they do not they not only want to take part in the finals that will be in Nairobi. That's in the national finals, but they want to go to uh, London to see Wanyama. Is that possible? Yes, the confidence in the team is high. This is a team that we started building in 2013, but it is I think it is a mature team now, and uh, they have confidence. If they do what we always do in training, I don't think they will fail to do that. The confidence is high, but we take one game at a time. Tomorrow we have a final, and I'd rather focus on that final before I start speaking about uh, Nairobi or wherever. Okay. Thanks a lot, Coach. Let me speak to probably one of the players here. Remember, these were the players that played in the first uh, semi-final of the day. Uh, Pengino uh, Uzungumze umetuambia o tu, tumesikia kutoka kwa, kwa kocha game ya leo ilikuwa ngumu lakini mkapata mabao kwa uh, kwa moja kesho kwenye finali tutarajie nini Kesho tutatarajia ku win as per our zoezi yetu so tuashukuru leo tumeenjoy na kesho pia hivyo hivyo tutatarajia ku win yeah. na mnachuana na Sologidi mliona mechi yao unaona mechi yenu itakuwaaje itakuwa na ugumu upi Mechi yetu haitakuwa na ugumu kulingana na zoezi yetu tuamini tu zoezi yetu sisi yeah. Asante sana kwa majina unaitwa nani? Naitwa Shama James. Ah, Shama James, asante sana. Moses as you have heard, those are the two teams that will be taking part in the finals. Solo Ogidi taking on Wa and of there as uh, they've said we ex we expect fireworks tomorrow in the finals. Back to you Moses. Thank you very much to Kenya for uh, just updating us in what is happening in matters with the Safaricom uh, Chapa Dimba Mombasa finals. And now it is a very, very competitive, actually. All the young lads are trying there to make uh, huge statements. But we will wait and see who will walk away with the final uh, winning uh, prize. Now let's talk about uh, Gormaye on the other end. Because, you know, yes, they qualified and they will be presenting the country in matters with the uh, club uh, championship in Africa. And for them today, they will also have a very, very important friendly match that is scheduled for Nakuru against KCCA. For, but uh, for one man who's a tactician of Gormaya, he's a very confident man and he's saying maybe this time out I have to change the stats because we always go to this continental championship and be eliminated just on the first rounds. But he says maybe 2018 will be a different year altogether. We both know what, what, what the enormity of the task is but we've got to be careful because we don't want to say yes, everybody wants to win it and the, the, the optimum is to gain the group stages, but we've got to be realistic and the, the teams were playing in the first round from Equatorial Guinea. They'll have the same ambitions, but like I said, you know, the, the, the art of it is plan, prepare, prepare and focus on, on the job in hand. And we would want to position our county as a favourable destination for sports. And as such, we welcome Gormahia for their training. They've been here for the last almost 10 days and uh, we believe our hospitality has been good and will continue to be good. We want to develop our infrastructure here for sports to ensure that even future matches can be held here and that you can be able to accommodate more and more because we believe sports is a major wealth creator. Yes, actually, uh, Gorman be playing again, he will be able to raise at least 1.5 million Kenya shillings to register and is confident that whoever will aid him 
actually go out there and be able to get uh, that uh, slot, he will go out there, he will do good not only for himself, but also for the country. Listen in. It's time now to go out, uh, talk to people, ask them for help, uh, companies, willing companies, because I believe I'm a brand. So um, I'm also appealing to companies around, brands around, uh, locally and internationally, who are willing to support such a great talent. Yeah, they're welcome. Because if we go this way, we only have like 10 days to go because the deadline is 31st of January. If I don't submit the $1.5 million, uh, I mean the $1.5 million uh, I'm supposed to raise by 31st of January, which is the 50% of the total registration fee, then I'm going to be locked out. Them, sports people who have such individual initiatives to become members of clubs, to join clubs that existed. If there are no clubs, then they should start formation, forming such clubs, sports clubs. Because you, 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 by forming the clubs, you attract more the potential sportsmen and women to belong. And it will also promote, you know, when you belong to a club, it promotes uh, that uh, sense of togetherness, teamwork, and also pooling of resources. It will be easier for us to generate resources to that. It will be very difficult to have every Kenyan coming forward here like James to come and ask for assistance. Yes, that is uh, actually the ministry saying that it is very hard for all Kenyans to, uh, maybe uh, if they will be going to the ministry to ask for assistance. But the reality is not all Kenyans will go to the ministry to ask for such kind of an assistant. And for this one, it is worth it. Let's just uh, pray and hope that the chap will be able to represent the country at the same time, do good for himself. Now let's talk about what will be highlighting the rugby menu come next weekend. And that is matters to do with Sydney 7. Yes, we know that Kenyans, they went out in Dubai, were able to get 10 points in the opening outing. We also went to Cape Town. In Cape Town, the performance was not that good, but you're able to secure uh, three points. And now with 13 points, you are 11th on the log. Very, very quickly, let's take a look at the team that will be doing duty for the country in the next weekend's edition of the Sydney Sevens. Very, very impressively, Andrew Amonde, who missed out the first opening legs, returns to the team. But that team will be captained by Oscar Oma. Oscar Oma has been very, very vital for the team. But at the same time, he will need some assistance that will be coming from uh, Sami Oliech. William Bakker is also another player who will be in action. And for William Bakker, he's actually been very, very instrumental in matters to, the, actually to, to that team. And he's expected again to be among the stars that will be counted. Dan Sikuta also makes the team. Ada Wira uh, is also among the team. Eddie Nagero, Brian Tanga. Talk about Brian Tanga. He's actually had a very, very fine season uh, where we, we saw what he's been doing in, in the Dubai out in the same time. Um, Jeff Olwoj, we also have Eric Mbasa. Mbasa actually will be making his debut. Uh, Sam Muregi is also in action. Nelson Oyo, top fry a chap, is also in action. Augustine Lugonzo has also made to the 13 uh, man uh, team. So these are people who will be uh, doing duty. Remember, Colin Sinjara also just uh, remains to be out. He's injured. We also have the likes of Billy Odiambo also uh, injured, so they will not be uh, taking part at the Sydney Sevens. Remember, uh, in, in Sydney, Kenya has been pulled in Pool B. We also have we have the likes of Argentina in that uh, pool, and Argentina we are going to play them in the opening day, which will be on Friday, 26. It will be our opening match. We will hope to start well. At the same time, we will play against France, and again we will play against Wales. So this uh, team is expected actually to go out there and make a huge statement because in Sydney, maybe uh, most of the times we get to bug much needed points. Still talking about rugby, we have the team that was voted the best women's team in the country. Yes, we're talking about Leonesses. Leonesses have made a very, very immense statement. They missed to qualify for the World Cup in, uh, in their last time of asking because South Africa actually had the edge. But uh, I was speaking with Philadelphia Orlando, the uh, team captain, and for her, she's very, very confident that 2017 is gone. Maybe it was a good year for them, but 2018, it just have to simply be better. I went to Hong Kong to qualify for IRB. We lost in the quarters. Um, luckily, uh, our winger, who is Naida Ura, I was a um, top try scorer. And we really thank God for that. Yeah, it was through hard work and teamwork that she reached that far. Uh, coming to the car uh, in Tunisia, 
we were to qualify for World Cup and Commonwealth. We lost in the finals against South Africa narrowly, and we believe we can do much better and we qualify for the Commonwealth, which is a plus to us and we really, really appreciate them. We are happy. We're talking about 2018 and yes, the Commonwealth is, is there. A lot of people will be expecting to see how the ladies will be performing probably. What will you perf uh, promise to the ever faithful supporters that we have, rugby supporters here in the country, specifically the Lionesses supporter? What should they expect from your team in 2018? Uh, after this award today, many people expect so much from us, which we believe we are back in the training. And we are really training towards the Commonwealth game, but we, we have a first tournament coming in Hong Kong, uh, which will double up for us as a build-up match towards the Commonwealth game. We are not going to Hong Kong just to participate. We are going to win, because that's our target. Because we know we are not going to meet uh, amateur teams in the Commonwealth games. We are going there as underdogs, and we are just going to do our best there. Yeah, we were in the Rio. We experienced a lot of hard time with those big teams, but I believe through experience we are going to do well in the Commonwealth Games because we also have a car coming in May. Uh, it will also double up as the qualifiers for IRB again. We have another chance and I believe this is our year, this is our chance to beat South Africa to get to the IRB. Yes, this is our year. This is our chance actually to go out there. And for them, yes, they are very, very confident. And we expect that uh, the words of uh, uh, the captain, Fila, actually will come to fruition because we have seen the Leonesses grow. We've seen what their coaches, uh, the likes, uh, uh, the, their coaches actually have been doing uh, for uh, the players. And yes, we expect that 2018 will be a spice here for the Lioness. Now let's uh, go back to what is happening in matters to do with rugby here in the country and we talk about uh, Kenya Cup. Very, very quickly, we'll go straight to the standings. We talk about Kenya Cup actually uh, standing and we see there have been teams uh, struggling, but a team that is leading and they have started out of the five matches that they have played so far, they seems to be making a statement. We're talking about KCB that um, today they are going to be in action. We, today we'll have different games. We'll be taking a look at the games that we'll be ha having. But K a a KCB leads the local brass sugar is on the second position we have impala after five games they've been able to get uh, 20 points they've lost only one uh, game those are the actually uh, cabras sugar on the second position and kcb on the first position they've not lost a single match kcb is uh, a point ahead just because of the bonus uh, points that they have been able to get homeboys is actually on the fourth uh, position uh, when we go to the next uh, uh, slide we'll see how the likes of uh, nakuru have been uh, faring but we we know that a team that has been the whipping boys of the season so far have been Mombasa because they are on the bottom of the log. Blackbird, they are university side. Last weekend, they failed heavily against uh, top five Nakuru because they played last weekend. Nakuru uh, secured uh, an important uh, victory. We also have the likes of nondescript Kenya Harley Queens. And we're talking about the last uh, teams. When we talk about the last uh, teams, uh, uh, we're talking about Mombasa. Mombasa actually they have been uh, struggling. Mwamba, remember Mwamba, actually, in their last outing, they played against Mombasa, and they're able to get a total of uh, 74 points uh, against only uh, uh, six, if I'm not, I'm, I'm not uh, wrong on that, against uh, Mombasa. We have uh, Kisi RFC, Strathmore RFC, other teams, actually, that are just trying to get impressive results when we talk about the Kenya Cup uh, uh, results. Now let's talk about uh, the Kenya Cup fixes because today we have teams in action. Today's matches actually will be played in different venues and the kick of time all matches will be played from 4 p.m. Total non-script non will be playing against Cabras Sugar. We've seen how impressive actually Cabras have been because they're on the second position of that log. Whipping boys in quotes so far, maybe things will change for them. We're talking about Mombasa are the underdogs, we might call them, because they are in the, in the in the senior actually competition for the first time. They will be playing against uh, Strathmore. Black Blood, that is the University of um, uh, Kenyatta University side, will be playing up against uh, Kisi RFC. We talk about Kisi RFC. They also been struggling. Not the best performance that we'll be seeing. 
But talk about a beautiful game that we'll be highlighting today's rugby menu. For obvious reason, it will be Mwamba against KCB. KCB look like they want to make a very, very big statement this time out. But you know what? We've only played five matches, so things might change because things sometimes always change. But this time out, will they have the metal actually to secure maximum points and maybe some bonus points, which won't be easy against Mwamba RFC. Queens will be up against Impala. Top five Nakuru, a very, very crucial match that will be played in Nakuru against homeboys, Tofre Nakuru will try as much as possible to see if they will be able to get maximum points in that game. Let's talk about what has been happening in this week because when we talk about uh, players in different actually sporting fields, they were fated this time out during the Safaricom uh, Soya Awards. You talk about Safaricom Soya Awards and yes, for the first time it was a man with disability who walked away with the final uh, prize. You're talking about Mushai. We also have the likes of Helen Osando Obidi who won the Female Athlete of the Year. We have the uh, likes of Conceslas Kipruto who took the men's uh, gong. We have the likes of the team that uh, actually was voted the best the under-19 cricket team that is currently doing duty for the country in uh, New Zealand at the Under-19 World Cup. Let's take a look actually what transpired just to make your memory be fresh in regards to 2017 Soya Awards winners. Samuel Muchai enjoyed a stellar 2017, winning two gold medals at the World Para Athletics He simply is the 2017 Kenya sports guru. Samuel Mushai made history by becoming the first ever person living with disability to be crowned the overall winner at the 2017 Safaricom Sports Personality of the Year. Mushai enjoyed a stellar season winning two gold medals at the World Para Athletics Championships in London in July where he claimed the T11 1500 meters and 5000 meters title to emerge as the only Kenyan gold medalist at the championships. Angependa kuambia wasijidharau mtu ambaye ako na ulemavu wote ule ajikubali na ajitoe kwa kuwa kulemewa si kutoweza tuna uwezo mwingine na tuweza tukafanya mengi hata zaidi ya wale ambao hawana ulemavu. Despite battling for most of his season Stipple Chess King Koseslas Kipruto took the Soya Mel's Personality of the Year Award in absentia after a year that he won his first global title in London. 5,000 meters world champion Helen Osando Obidi had a sweet season with a 14 minutes 34.86 golden time victory being the highlight at the World Championships last year. I think for now I'm doing my preparation like I'm doing cross country so that I can prepare myself to do World Indoors, Commonwealth Games and so many competitions in 2018. Obidi added the IAAF Diamond League crown by winning the second series final in Brussels in a time of 14 minutes 25.88 seconds as well as setting a new national record of a time of 14 minutes 18.37 seconds in 5,000 meters race in Rome last June and her athletics career is just beginning. Bado size to achieve what I need to achieve. Come and achieve kutoka kuwanja you know bado sitakuwa na usaifu mkubwa sana kuwanja. The main team of the year award went to the Kenyan under-19 cricket team that is on duty at the ICC under-19 World Cup with Kenya Lionesses rugby seven side who qualified for the 2018 Commonwealth Games in addition to playing in the HSBC World 7 Series edged out a record time 20 domestic champion Telcom Kenya hockey team and the FIVB World Championships bound Malkia Strikers volleyball team for the corresponding female team of the year. Stephen Mushoki of boxing and a former Gormahia star Alan Digo were inducted in the Hall of Fame in a night that saw Athletics Kenya being crowned at the Federation of the Year. It is a long list of winners with a common goal to better the sports standards in the country, that being a journey that never ends. Yes, making the sports in the country become what it, is, it needs to be. Actually, it is a journey that never ends. And let's wait and see. Maybe the different stakeholders will up their game and 2018 will be a beautiful year. And if it needs to be a beautiful year, then the Kajaro Boxing Club also need to be smiling on the other side because they're saying we have a lot of struggles and we want to star in this year's edition of the National 
Boxing League. Yes, they will be taking uh, part at the novices this time out, but for them, they're saying we are training as much as we can and we want to star and be all smiley in 2018. The 2017 Boxing Kenya police Chafua Chafua was stripped off the National Boxing League title after being found guilty of match fixing a ruling that saw the league title officially awarded to the Kenya Defense Forces. Teams are now back to the drawing board, sharpening their arsenal, and Ngatarongai Boxing Club is preparing to compete in the Nairobi National League in 2018. <laughs> It promises to be an exciting boxing season with the Ongata Rongai Boxing Club preparing its amateurs who will take part in the Nairobi Novice for a grueling battle. A proper training facility is the biggest hurdle for the young team of boxers who want to box as long as it takes. The promising talent currently trains at the St. Mary's Catholic Church only from Monday to Friday and gets a little or no time to punch practice on the weekends. The Nairobi Novice competition will be held on 23rd February this year and has attracted a total of 12 teams so far and this will just be a warm-up before the National League. Moses Wahisi, KTN Sports. Yes, it is another team in the country that needs a help and maybe they just need facilities so as to always be able to sharpen their arsenal. Well, we've been highlighting a lot of uh, stories in the country. We've talked about what is expected from Gurmaya because today they are playing against KCCA in a friendly tie. At the same time, we have a host of Kenya rugby uh, fixtures. We're talking about Kenya Cup. Different teams will be expected to star, to star actually. But at the same time, also in action 2018, the Lionesses are very, very optimistic that they will have a beautiful season. After the short break, we're going to talk about English Premier League. Sanchez, where is he going? Still at Arsenal, and the tactician is saying he's still here, and maybe he will play against uh, Crystal Palace. We talk about uh, different results of NBA, that are much more after the short break. News.